Skins or Cash is an awesome website that's ultra secure that will help you sell your unwanted Dota stuff or indeed other skins from other games that you don't want. They will check out them ultra fast, ultra secure, and the more you use it, the more you get a bonus and the more you get money back. Try it today, it's awesome. Bloody fantastic. Hey, hello everyone, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to How to Deal with Sven in Patch 7.06. Here we're going to look at counterpicking him, and also when you really, really shouldn't draft into him. So first off, let's talk about how, who Sven kicks the crap out of. Now, I have mentioned this in many matches, it is my greatest fear. But Meepo! Meepo is a nightmare, and the reason why Meepo is a nightmare is because of Clen's cleave ability. So, effectively, you pick a Meepo, he'll just one-shot you. I mean, literally, he'll group-stun you with Stormhammer, and then he'll cleave you to death. And he's got God's Strength on, it's just one-hit death. There you go. Stun, whoosh, cleave, death. Job done. And so he counters, so first group of people that he counters are multi-unit heroes. Other examples include Lycan, and of course it would be morally wrong for me not to mention Broodmother, although I don't know why on earth you would pick Broodmother full stop against a Sven <laughs> ever. Uh, but nonetheless, the cleave will just give him super levels of farm. Nature's Prophet, for example, similar kind of story. But any kind of uh, summoned units like Beastmaster as well, all will struggle against Sven because, again, his cleave will just wipe out all the spawn units quickly, giving Sven plenty of farm. Meanwhile, also deals still doing a butt ton of damage. Remember, cleave does insane levels of damage. Some, some, <laughs> some 60, 60 percent, 66% at highest level, and it starts off at 30%. Remember, his cleave is the same as a Battle Fury at le when you buy a Battle Fury, and that's at, at the level one. So it's, it's insanely good, insanely good. The next group of heroes, similar on with the multi-unit heroes, is of course Illusions, like Chaos Knight, Phantom Lancer, and Naga Siren. All quite popular heroes, although some are struggling more than others. Illusions have also been done in a little bit by the patch, so these heroes are underperforming a bit more than they used to be. And then Sven. You see a Sven, please, for heaven's sakes, do not, under any circumstances, uh, pick, pick into him. The other heroes, just slightly worth mentioning as well, um, are heroes that build a Manta style, just on the, on the back of style, or have Manta style pretty much as core. So, for example, an Anti-Mage, or, you know, for example, maybe a Luna, you know, heroes like that are also going to really, really struggle against Fennec, because, again, it's the same thing. As soon as you pop the, your, your illusions off, um, he'll, just, he'll just cleave them away straight away. So, it, it's you, you've got to be ultra careful about your, your selections against him. Um, so those, those are the kind of the, the, the main heroes. The other thing I'll try to just mention is he's pretty good against reasonably tanky heroes as well because he dishes out so much damage. And with God's strength on, remember he does turn himself into supreme tank. So um, yeah, just just be be warned of the of the damage. It's the heroes that are going to excel against him are the ones that are going to cover next. So, let's talk about his weaknesses. So, the so Sven, like, is tanky. He has high base armor from the start, so that's really good. He has kind of two fundamental weaknesses. The one is mana pool, but mana pool is kind of easily fixed, either with, like, good hero synergies or optimization or, or whatever. Does, and the problem with low mana, all that simply means is it just makes it harder for you to get his stun off and get kills on in the early game. As the game progresses, or if you, you know, itemize properly, you can easily offset that. But the other major weakness for the guy is he's very, very kiteable. Very kiteable. Now, when I say kiteable, and this, this sometimes that can be a little bit of a confusing sense of words. Um, what that means is, is you can hit him a lot with ranged heroes, and because the only other bank damage he, uh, item he uses is a blink dagger, you continuously pummel him with your range damage, and then he can't blink, he can't move into your face, and he can't do any damage. Um, and then obviously, if you slow him down as well, you know, continuously slow him down, continuously remain out of his touch, continually damaging him, he'll never get close enough for you, and you can just continue to, like, hence the phrase kite, you know, um, dancing around on a string and never doing anything until he dies. So, so, so kite heroes are, you know, insanely good against him. So heroes that can kite him very, very well. And again, heroes that also work with evasion work well are heroes like Sniper. Sniper can do exceptionally well against him. As can Wind Ranger, and and to us a little bit as well. Um, like Medusa can kite the guy, although it's more she's a super tank against him, and he actually struggles to kill her. Um, and even a little bit Invoker, Invoker can kite him actually pretty pretty effectively and well. 
So um, those kind of heroes that are good at keeping their distance and will maintain their distance uh, continually while continuously pummeling you with damage are always going to excel. Um, other mentions, of course, like, for example, uh, Weaver. Now, escape heroes tend to be a bit more of a problem for Slark as well. Because while the Slark, uh, uh, escape heroes like Slark can be a bit of a problem for uh, the guy as well. Because, again, escape is a problem for him in the same vein as, you know, kiting. In the sense, it's very hard for him to actually ever get close enough to kill them. If you take someone like Slark, for example, who you can just get in his face, steal some stats, steal some stats, wait for God's strength to wear off, steal some stats, jump in his face... Uh, go invisible, pounce away, come back, steal some more stats. You know, again, kiting him effectively, um, and and making sure that Sven doesn't get because, like I say, if Sven one shot stuns him and then cleave, 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 you know, Slark's going to die. But it's quite a skilled player can quite comfortably semi kite with uh, with with Slark, and and again because of all the escape mechanisms, it makes it very very difficult for someone like. Sven to, to stay on top of them. Uh, similar story with Marana, uh, you know, that kind of that kind of jazz as well. Um, it, 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 like I say, heroes, escape heroes tend to um, perform quite well against him uh, and we'll and we'll mess him around. It's like, ah, stick together this guy, I just want to stun and kill him. Ah you know, so it, it's it's that kind of thing. And again, like I say, anti-tanks um, can work very effectively. So special mentions. Uh, Winter Wyvern is a great hero to mention because she turns Sven, who is awesome against team, against his own team. Uh, and it's either one, way, one of two things. You can either get Sven to wipe out your your core, or you can just get your team to uh, basically kill Sven. One of the two. Pick pick one. Um, because he's so tanky, um, it's, it's, it's bad news. It's bad news. And like I say... It, it, it's it's seriously a, a concern, but but yeah, now Sven Sven can take out the other core quite comfortably and then wreck the team. Uh, Wild God's strength is on as well, and makes them even more hilarious. So definitely a good one there to look out for. The other one worth mentioning is Razor. Now, obviously, God's strength is based on increasing his attack damage quite significantly. If you steal all his attack damage away from him, he can't deal any damage anymore. Isn't that great? Um, so so Razor is definitely a notable mention. The other ones as well are like BKB poppers or heroes that have no effect on BKB. Um, so, for example, Enigma. Enigma, if he catches the Sven out, particularly with his own team, will just pop in. And BKB or not, you're undone. And remember, that is a core item. So any BKB popping hero, on average, will, will do pretty well against him and, and outperform him. Anyway, that, friends, is How to Deal with Sven in patch 7.06. Thank you so much for tuning in and stay tuned for more great stuff coming up soon. Goodbye.